Our next step is to create the rest of the prims that we need for the lamp. So the next part that we're going to work on is making the stand. So again, I'm going to right click and select create. And this time I'm going to make a cylinder. And whatever object you create will be created on the ground wherever you click or on top of the uh, whatever object is lying on the ground. So in fact, if I click on my base, then my cylinder ends up standing right on top of my base. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is change the height of the cylinder. You can see that it's totally the wrong shape to be the stand for my lamp. Now, what I could do is I could use my control plus shift, hold down both control and shift, and then I could change the height of my cylinder by dragging the blue square. So I want it to be taller in the Z direction, the blue direction, so I just click on the blue square to change that. But I want a little bit more precise control. I want to make my uh, stand exactly two meters tall. So in order to achieve that, I'm going to look over in my editing pane. And one of the tabs in the editing pane is the object tab, which gives us very detailed information about the location, size, and the rotation parameters of our prim. So what I want to do is make this actually exactly two meters tall. So again, that's the blue Z direction. So I'll go ahead and change the size to two meters. And you'll notice it updated appropriately. And of course I also want it to be uh, a little bit thinner, so I'm going to change these to one-eighth of a meter in each direction. There, now I have a nice stand for my lamp. And I can actually position this stand anywhere, but in order for things to look realistic, I probably want it to connect up with the base. So I'm going to drag the stand down. And remember the way I do that is I move my cursor over the arrow that points in the correct direction, in this case up and down, click on it, and then I can just drag. And I'll just drag it down until it looks all right. Now just as we did with the base, we're going to want to change the texture and color. So I'll go to the texture tab. I'm going to set the texture to blank so it doesn't look like plywood anymore and I'm going to change the color to be the same light gray as the base and I'm going to set the shininess to low so that it looks a little bit more, more metallic. Great, two parts done. The next part we're going to work on building is the light bulb. So I'm going to switch to my create view by clicking on the magic wand icon, the create icon in my editing pane. Now for my light bulb, I'm going to make a sphere. So I'll select the sphere, and just like I did before, I'm going to use my camera controls. So right now I'm just holding Alt, and then Alt and Control, so I can see the top of this. And I'm going to create the sphere right on top. So now I have this lovely, huge plywood sphere. I'm going to go ahead and change the size of this a bit. Obviously, I want my light bulb to be a little bit smaller. And I prefer to have mine sort of an oblong shape. So I'm going to go ahead and stretch it a little bit like this. Not a very realistic light bulb. But for our first attempt, this will do the trick. So I created my light bulb, and now I'm going to try to move it in, into position. Now. In order to get things to line up exactly, it'll actually be very helpful for us to use our guides. Remember that when we move an object, rulers appear above and below the area where we're dragging. If we move our cursor up into that ruler range, then it will snap to the grid. So in this case, I'm going to remove my stand to make sure that it's positioned correctly. And then I'm going to move my light bulb to make sure it's positioned correctly. You can see right now it's hanging off the back a little bit. There we go. So now everything is centered all at the same point. 
Now, again, we're going to need to change the texture of our light bulb. We don't want a plywood light bulb, but this time we're going to do things a little bit differently. First of all, we are going to set this to be the blank texture again, but I kind of want to have a light bulb that looks like it's giving out yellow light. Now, one thing that's going to make it look a little bit more realistic is if we just actually make the light bulb look yellow. If you're more of an artist than I am, you can use your own discretion on this, but I'm just going to go ahead and make sort of a little yellow egg. And the most important thing for the light bulb is that it should give off light. So if we want our light bulb to give off light, we're going to use a new feature, which luckily is under the Features tab. Under the Features tab, there are a couple of different features that Prims can have. The main one that we're going to be interested in is light. Prims can emit light like a light bulb. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And as I said, I want a pale yellow light, so I'm going to go ahead and click Color and change it to be this pale yellow that I selected for my light bulb. And now you can see there's a nice circle of light on the ground that's coming from my light bulb. You'll also notice that the light bulb looks a lot shinier now. 